Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. And today we head off to Maine. We're not really going to Maine, are we? I hope not. No, no we're not going to Maine. Maine. We're in Massachusetts, which is close enough to Maine. Uh, but we are going to talk about Maine hot dogs. And I am once again joined by Julie Couture. Hey. Hi, Julie. <laughs> so today we're going to do Maine hot dogs. And these are red, uh, red snappers. So these hot dogs are very red. They're red because of coloring. They have natural casings on it, which is a natural lamb casing. Uh, in case you don't know, the casing is made from lamb intestines. Um, but uh, natural casing has more snap to it. So in Maine, they've been making red hot dogs probably over 100 years. The reason that they started coloring the hot dogs red is because they wanted them to stand out from other hot dogs. So basically when you went into the butcher shop and you saw the hot dogs, your eyes immediately went to the red ones and you bought the red ones. Other than that, there's really not much difference to it from a regular hot dog, um, unless it has like some sort of red number two that's bad for you or some, something along those lines. Since we are doing Maine hot dogs, we are also doing New England style hot dog rolls. So these are squared off hot dog rolls, not your round ones like you, other people are used to around the country. Um, these are specifically what you would eat a hot dog or a lobster roll in New England with. I don't know any other hot dog buns, to be honest with you. That, that's true. Yeah, in, in New England. That's... Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever had anything else other than this. So uh, originally the uh, red, red Hots or uh, Red Snappers were made by W.A. Bean in, um, in Maine, and they used, uh, started making these in 1918. Uh, there are very, very few hot dog places that actually make these anymore. Uh, however, one of them, Kayam, uh, uh, which is located in Chelsea, Massachusetts, they also make, uh, they call them old time reds. And Kayam, what is Kayam famous for? They're uh, Fenway Franks. Yeah, so they also make the Fenway Franks, which are the hot dogs that are served at Fenway Park. So uh, we just decided we're gonna go very simple with this. There's no real special way to eat them. Again, you eat them like regular hot dogs. So we're gonna put them in a squared off bun and we have choice of mustards. Now, you, your, your preference is the spicy bread? I like a spicy bread. Okay, so here, I'll, I'll let you uh, I, I'll be first. honest with you. I, for, so first of all, they look like Chinese sausage. So one, like your, my brain wants to say that they're gonna be sweet. Second, I always thought that they were spicy. So I, I stayed away from buying them because I thought that they were gonna be spicy. The Red Hots? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because they say red, red hot, right? But it's not hot. It's not hot spice. It's hot heat on. Well, if they're just red and they taste like hot dogs, then they're very pretty. And they are colorful as hell, aren't they? They would so jazz up a Fourth of July party. Whoa! I hate when my mustard squirts at me. I hate when when it has that liquid yeah, like, that's that comes the worst. out at first. Yeah. You want a mustard? Yeah, spicy, I do the spicy a spicy one. mustard. That's a nice. <laughs> It's a the hot dog man. It, <laughs> the hot it's dog a the man. hot dog man. Yeah. <laughs> the pizza man. There we go. All right, you ready? Chaz. Red cheers. Mm. You, you get that snap? Mm hmm. Initial snap. Cam makes the best hot dogs around. Like, period. And that's just not the Red Sox fan of me saying that. So, flavor wise, Flavor-wise, there's really nothing that stands out like, oh, this has a lot of fennel in it, this has something else in it, this, you know. Just straight up hot dog. Yeah, straight up hot dog. Nice snap on the, on the, um, the casing. Mm -hmm. um, with these buns, you actually have more uh, surface, more outside surface. And these are best toasted. Some people do them on the grill, like in a, in a pan. They'll grill these uh, a little buns. A little bit of butter. Yeah, a little bit of butter on them. But, uh, but you get more surface as opposed to more crust on these. Um, I'm gonna give these a big thumbs way up. Huge thumbs up, yeah. Like I said, uh, KM, you say KM? I've always said KM. I don't Let's know Let's call that's the whole thing off. They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find a good hot dog with that snap, but again, it's, it's uh, using the natural casing that makes a big difference. It's also so, hard to find a hot dog that after two bites, I'm not like, oh God, I hate hot dogs. So these are a blend of beef and pork. Um, no, artificially colored franks. Well. You, you don't say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, no byproducts, no fillers, no artificial flavors. Let's see, uh, anything in the ingredients, uh, beef and pork, water, corn syrup. I don't know why I put the corn syrup. You, you, now you're not getting what you thought you were gonna get, the Chinese uh, not at sausage all. sweetness Just like in it, straight right? up delicious meaty hot dog. Contains 2% or less of salt, potassium lactate, 
uh, flavorings including extracts of paprika, dextrose, sodium diacate, absorbic acid, FDNC red number 40 and red number three in a natural lamb casing. Uh, manufactured by Cam Foods in Chelsea, Massachusetts. So, um, I love the red number three. It just gives it like that really good, you know what I mean? That finishing touch. Yeah, but red number two is dangerous. So you have to be careful of red number red two. Red 40 is also If you've got red number two, go right to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Red number I wonder if after we eat this, if we're going to have red number two. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of got what you said. I can't believe it took me that long. Oh my God. <laughs> Anywho, yes. Um, but two thumbs up for me. Yeah, same here. They're, that's absolutely <laughs> delicious. So, um, if you, I, I can't tell you if you're if you're not from New England, if you're not in New England, where you can even get these. I mean, honestly, uh, we're in the Boston area, and so it's easy for us to get these. But honestly, I have not seen them in stores anywhere else in the country except in New England. It's a it's a um, it's a New England tradition, specifically Maine. And um, uh, but if you get a chance to do that, you know, definitely try these. They're they're awesome. And jazz up your Fourth of July party. That's right. Uh, but uh, but when you go out, be careful, please, because it's crazy out there. Please take care of yourselves. Please take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.